What's up guys? Welcome back to yet another video, this time again about editing, specifically retouching in Lightroom. Now, I know what you must be thinking. You must be thinking, Gabe, you are f***ing crazy trying to retouch in Lightroom. I mean, we have Photoshop, we have other things that we can use that's totally non-pro, whatever, whatever, and well, you just gotta listen to this story. Well, when I started shooting, I didn't have any resources, I didn't have anything, so I had to work with what I had. Uh, not only the camera that I had, but also the software that I had, which was pretty much what I could get my hands on. I didn't have, uh, you know, the money to buy Photoshop back in the day when it wasn't a subscription that was easy to, to, to pay a monthly fee, when it was like, you know, paying a lot of money at once for one program. So I had to make do with what I had. Uh, I could only afford one program, so I went with Lightroom and I started using it and then I started getting a little bit more into editing and retouching and I started using the tools that this program has to learn or basically teach myself how to emulate um, retouching that people do in Photoshop but instead in Lightroom. There's different cases, different scenarios where you could totally get away with retouching in Lightroom. And there are levels of retouching and everyone retouches differently. Retouching is something that's very personal to, to the individual, how they like to you know, view skin or how they like to perceive certain things in images. So retouching is very personal and there are levels to it. I mean, you have so much to choose from. So for this specific video, I wanna take a look at you know, retouching in Lightroom or doing some light skin touch-ups in Lightroom for maybe for those people who don't have Photoshop or don't know how to use Photoshop or whatever the reason is, I just wanna let people know that you could totally get away with some retouching in Lightroom. So with that said, let's jump into the video. Let's wait before we begin. All right, so jumping right into Lightroom, this is the image that I chose that we're gonna edit together. Now let's jump right here into the develop module. Now, this image has already been uh, pre-edited. The only thing that's missing is the retouching part because we will do that together. Um, and uh, I'll show you what the picture used to look like and what we ended up with right when we finish uh, this whole thing that we're doing. So, first things first, let's talk about what I use to retouch or what is my process behind retouching. The first thing that I try to do with the image is try to remove any imperfections that are in the skin. And I do so with this little tool right here, the spot removal, okay? So, let's jump right straight into her face right here. Let's start looking at maybe the problems that we see. Now, this uh, particular image, I can tell that doesn't have many problems. We had an incredibly talented makeup artist, so she did a very good job covering any problems that she may have had. And also the model had very good skin, so there's not much here that we can find and say like, oh, this is a problem. So, but just to be nitpicky, just for the for the sake of this uh, video, we're gonna go ahead and remove this right here because it may be a little bit distracting. I'm gonna click there, see what happens, it goes away. And I'm gonna just continue doing this around her forehead here, okay? Just to make things look a little bit cleaner um, and a little bit more smooth in that sense now what we're doing with this tool is just removing certain things we're not really uh smoothing anything out or anything like that we're just removing stuff okay so i'm gonna just continue doing this around uh her face trying to look at things that i see that you know could be distracting or whatnot and like i said there's not much that we can do here but um i say that her face right now looks pretty good. Now, jumping into other parts of her body, like right here, we can see some, you know, some markings and stuff. We'll go ahead and start removing those as well. And that is pretty much the beginning stage of our image, all right? Now, I wanna jump into what else I like to do with images. 
Um, I'm gonna go to my brush right here. And as you see, this says One Skin Smoother. That's the name that I gave to this. Basically, this is a very simple, simple thing to do. I'll give you the settings right here. It's clarity minus 43, sharpness a little bit down, and noise reduction a little bit down as well. All right, and I have my mask set at 100 and all of that. And just so that you know um, where you're masking, you're going to press O on my keyboard. And we're just going to start painting on our skin like so. Now, this brush is a very light brush. This brush is not doing too, too much to the skin. It's just pretty much masking some of the areas that could be problematic. And I found that this little trick that I have going on here works for a wide variety of subjects and skins. So that's why I kind of have it as a default and I kind of go to it all the time now. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna duplicate the same brush that we applied on her again on the skin, all right? And this is uh, the same brush, same settings that we already used, and we're gonna just go ahead and start painting again over all the skin. So for the eyes, um, what we wanna do is jump in here, we go to the brushes, make sure that everything is on zero and what I want to do with her eyes is just give them a little bit more light give them a little bit more contrast and just amplify the natural color of her eyes because the problem that we're having here is that since her eyes are a little bit on the shade they're not really coming through the image as they should so we're gonna try and fix that right now so we're gonna pick this brush we're gonna up the exposure by about mm, 30 and we'll see we we'll start painting here, just the eyes, just to see what happens. Start painting on this eye, and then on this eye. I'm trying not to go into the white part of the eye, because then it looks kind of fake, and it looks a little bit bad. So, we have that. I think we can go a little bit higher with the exposure. Wait for that to load. Just want to paint over this. And... It's looking quite good. Now, I want to add some color to that, so I'm bringing the color temperature a little bit down so that her eyes look bluer. I'm also going to bring the tint a little bit up to about uh, 4 should be good. That looks pretty good. Um, bring the highlights a little bit down. Bring the contrast a tiny bit up. I'd say like around right there on six should be looking pretty good. I want to give it a little bit more clarity so that we get some little bit of detail in her eyes, but not too, too much so that it doesn't look fake. And I think that that's pretty much everything I want to do to the eyes. I'm going to click done just to see how it looks. Zoom out. And I think it looks pretty good. It may look slightly bit uh, overdone. So I'm going to go back in here, click on the brush again, select the brush that's in the eye, and just bring that exposure down to, say, 40. Let's see how that looks. As soon as this loads, that looks much better. So I'm going to click OK and done. Well, and this is it. This is uh, the resulting image of our slight retouch in, within Lightroom. And just to show you guys some reference, this is where we started off with the original image. This is where we ended up after editing and retouching. I'll show you that again. This is the before. And right here is the after. And that is it, guys. That is how you can retouch your photos within Lightroom. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any other concerns or questions, also let me know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any other, other videos that are coming up. I want to thank you guys for joining me this time, and I hope to see you guys on the next video.